Check out this fish. Off to the Triple Crown we go. But before we get there, we stop at Brandon's house. Check out this little fish room, really neat. Think you guys will like it. Check out this fish. <laughs> All right, now I need your phone so I what can a monkey. He had to climb up there. He just had to climb up there. There's a wasp nest somewhere. Oh, the right. garden eater. Right. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna video each other. Hi everybody, it's Brandon. This is my wall of fish. It's very cool, very cool. And this guy is feeding us, treating us very nice. Thank you for the hospitality. And Absolutely. Beautiful tanks, love Welcome them. Kentucky. Welcome to Triple Crown. Well, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, that's as big as the ones that I've seen, but okay. I thought they maybe got six inches, and that's... He's kind of, um, his spine's a little weird. Yeah, it's probably a little longer. <laughs> I have one at home I named Dippy, and so my first try. I love what he did with this pearling. It's like, it looks like a hunchback. It's like. Left face. Beautiful face. Oh my god, look what I spy. You don't know what that is. That's a Galaris. One of my favorites. This dude's got it. Look at this. Absolutely love this in this tank. Mulmy algae does not get any more natural than that. Look at that contrast with those black neons with that mulm and that driftwood and the plants. Very natural. And nice seasoned mulmy earth. You can tell. That's seen some days. Love it. It's the circle of life, right? Like, they're probably two or three years old, though, so they're getting slow. So if you check out this stand, it's actually really different. Look how he's got the two by fours up on blocks. Kind of just made his space. Very interesting. <laughs> different. Cool. Yeah. And check this out. He hooked me up with some killifish. Now, what day should I uh, do these? They're both pretty well aged. They're both from last fall. They've had months. So those are ready to go. Add water. Get fish like sea monkeys. Yep, yep. These beautiful outdoor setups. Love it. Got the overflowing tank there. Beautiful green water. And that is some braided material, all those roots. That's rainbow fish, egg heaven. A lot of fish egg heaven. So we love this. This is some really cool driftwood with the plants coming out. Such a mixture too, got quite the variety in here. Moss car on there. This hornwort's turning red. Look how red this hornwort. Or no, that's from a red red root floater. That's what that's from. No, no, those are some of the hornwort. It, yeah, some of the hornwort here is, but the super red right here uh, was kind of throwing me off. Yeah, they're like big raccoon tails. You can pull them out. Sure. Beautiful. Yeah, I saw those earlier. <laughs> those stay out year round. They don't go in in the winter. Nice. And it gets fairly cold down here still, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, we get snow and ice. Always nice to put plants in front, too, to kind of give it that little extra depth. <laughs> Rainbow shiners, these are really cool. We're native fish. I also didn't know he was gonna ride all the mom and mom pop out of the
trail. The trail. Well, yeah, we weren't gonna hit the cow mid land, but we only had a certain amount of runway to stop the yeah, side yeah. by side before we were gonna hit this cow. And as soon as we come to a stop, like, oh, it tastes line. like it. I thought you said it was a lemongrass because it's um. I can't think of it. Oh, it's a trillium of some kind, but I think. We were early. We made it. No fish in the tanks yet. Everybody's starting to get set up. It's one of the spots. We're just getting started. Now I enjoyed Brandon's fish room. Hope you guys did too. I love checking out all the different variations of fish keeping people get to do out there because there's so many ways to do it. As you can see, we made it to the triple ground. So stay tuned for all that. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. That would be super appreciated. Would help out the algorithms. Also leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the video or just say something for the algorithm. But either way, I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, supporting all that stuff. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one. I'll see you on the next one.